Let's see. Is this thing recording? It looks like it is. Okay. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Boot Camp. I'm Donald Herman, and Boot Camp, for those who don't know, we have 16 exercises, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, we perform each exercise for 45 seconds. We then take a 15 second break before we move on to the next exercise. One round consists of all 16 moves. We take a very quick break after each round and we perform a total of three rounds. So the full workout itself takes, with the movement, 48 minutes. So roughly 50 to 55 minutes will be the, uh, will be the workout for today, okay? Before I show you the exercise, before we get uh, going, uh, let's do a quick warm up, okay? But before I do that, what you will need for equipment. I have a TRX band in the background hanging up on a tree. <laughs> if you don't have one of those, you can use a rope, you can just use dumbbells, okay? I sh and we're doing inverted rows of that. We have, I have a barbell. I'm using 45 pounds, use what you can. I have two 20 pound dumbbells and a mat, okay? So that's what you'll need or something thereof. And a lot of the exercises are all also body weight. So, before we get going, let's do a warm up. Start off with 20 jumping jacks. Now you're gonna need your own music. I don't play music, but I don't have the rights to any. And I won't do a lot of talking when I'm trying to count because I can't multitask that well. So 20 jumping jacks, ready and go. So we're gonna do three sumos with each leg, out and up. Three each leg. Get those hips, lower back, loosened up. And then cowboys, same thing, out to in. And then groin stretch. Three times each side, your pace and depth. Kind of a cloudy day to day. A little bit of humidity. All right, ten gentlemen bows. Then four arm circles followed by ten backwards. Big ones. Let's go back to the left. And give yourself ten hugs. Okay, then we're gonna do inchworm. Keep your feet still, walk yourself, hands out, five push-ups, walk back, stand up, walk back out, four push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. That's my, my baby. Okay, so here are the moves for today. There are four sets of four. These are the names of the exercises. Okay. Um, I'm not going to really demonstrate them. We just have to follow along. We get going. Every the rows, side to side hops. We're in a plank position. This is a core workout, uh, lunge jumps, push up to a T. Use your dumbbells for that if you can. If you don't have any dumbbells, body weight's fine. 
because I'm going to use the barbell if you have one with these four moves. If not, then dumbbells. Then we drop the barbell, everything else is either body weight or dumbbell work. So bent rows, thrusters, side planks. You can play around with different moves on the side planks, your choice. Finishing up with these. I'll, the break dance, mountain climb break dance is unique. Okay, might be a little difficult to learn if you haven't done it before, but it's fun also. So let me get my clock started. First move we're gonna do is the inverter rows. I'm gonna be a ways away. <laughs> Hope you can see and hear me. Once again, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So this one is side to side hops. You're gonna bring your feet, both feet to that one side. Hey feet side, back, side, back. Gotta bring your feet as close to your hands as you can. Insects. Okay. We're going to jump right into lunge jumps. This workout will get your heart rate elevated. Full body workout. Working out all the major muscle groups, sometimes in combination. I need dumbbells if you have them. Push up to a T. You'll see what I mean when I turn. Look up at the sky. Look up at the sky when you turn. You can do your push up from your knees. Come off your knees and you turn. Okay, dumbbells aside, you need your barbell now for the next four moves. Sumo, high pull. Feet wide, hands in. 
call these the Bryn. up. Nice move, snatch. Feet shoulder width apart, hands wide. All one move. I am happy. Okay, next one, deadlift. Be shoulders apart. Reverse grip if you like. Or neutral. Head up. Don't look down. Side view. Let's go back. Yeah, shrug at the top if you'd like. We're gonna go front squats. I hold the bar here. You can hold them there, whichever. Most of your tops, your thighs, or lower. You can put the bar aside. Get done with the bar. And then we have, grab your dumbbells. Or you can use a bar if you like, but bent over rows. Once again, look at my back position. It's not rounded. Bring the ball dumbbells to your armpits or as close as you can. Slight bend in your knees. You never really ever want to lift with completely stiff knees. You can actually cause yourself to pass out. <sighs> you've ever been in any military, you've had to stand at attention for a long period of time. And if you kept your knees straight, stiff, chances are you passed out. I saw that happen numerous times when I was in high school in ROTC, people were doing that. Another challenge move, thrusters, dumbbells, squat to an overhead press. Good. 
this move, the next six moves on body weight. Sounds good, still challenging. You do as many reps as you can in the 45 seconds. Rest when need be. No judgment. Okay. Get your mat. You have one. We're gonna go side plank. Hey, numerous things you can do here. Just hold the side plank or play games, whichever you want. Got one top, one foot on top of the other. Either stagger him, stagger him, hold a hand up. Or different things you can do. Right now, I'm just going to hold it. We're going to do both sides back to back. This for core, in particular, this workout, more so than usual, on popular demand. Request, should I say? When I say popular, I'm talking about one person. Other side. Other side. You can do the same thing on the side, whatever you just did on that side. You may find one side easier to hold up the meal. After this, we get the little burpees. Yay, I hate them. Burpees and then a challenging move that some of you might not have done before, haven't done in a long time. It's gonna be challenging for me because I have an uneven backyard. Okay, it's burpee time. Use the mat if you like, or not. All the way to the ground, by the way. It's not necessarily a push up, just get your chest to the floor. Roll yourself up. We'll hop to the top. Twenty seconds. You have to stay with me. Go faster than me if you like. I'm doing my best. You do yours. All that matters. Okay. All right. Mountain climber break dance. Four mountain climbers turn both sides. You'll see. One, two, three, four. One, oops. Two. One, two, three, four. Shoot. Like you break dance on TV. You turn to your left, bring your right foot up. Turn to your right, your left foot comes up. We'll get better. Okay, reverse crunch. You gotta bring your knees to your chest. Hips come off the ground. Hands under your butt if you like. Let's go straight back out, don't touch the ground. Relax your head. Take a nap. 
sure your hand, your hips, come off your hands and they're under your butt. Your feet do not touch the floor. We have one more move before we take a break. Get your dumbbells. Just need one dumbbell, sorry. All you're going to do in a high plank position, move the dumbbell back and forth. Put your hand outside the dumbbell before you move it. Yeah. Maybe this will help. Ten seconds. Break time. That's one round down, two to go. So let me just show you the back at break dance rear view. One, two, three, four. Maybe next time I'll face that direction so you can follow me better, maybe. Okay, hope everyone's doing okay. Yeah, it's a little adjustment, trying to find the right spot. So in my normal class, I've had people leave after one round, people leave after two rounds. Majority of people stay all three. But you do what you feel like you, you can do. You got 45 seconds, get as many reps in as you can. You have to stop, stop, rest, recover, pick it back up, okay? Some of you are gonna be doing more reps than me. Chances are I'm, I'm doing more reps than you, but that's okay. Get your workout in. All right, so here we go. Round two, start with inverted rows. All right, here we go. See me? On your mark. Get set. Go. Seconds. Not as many as the first round. Okay, side to side hops. Working your obliques on this one. Hip flexors, shoulders. Total core action.
15 seconds. Keep going. Ignore me. Lunge jumps. Trying to find good footing back here. And you saw the reason for the bad footing earlier in the video when Mowgli in a cameo. He was a puppy, he used to run around and dig up the yard. Still kind of does. It'll be 10 in October. 10 seconds. It'll be 10 going on three. Dumbbells push up to a T. Once again, you can come off your knees for when you do the push ups, come off your knees and turn to get the four full core in. Look up at the sky or the ceiling wherever you are. And you also know that the stronger your core is, the more push-ups you can do. Okay, need barbells. Next four moves, barbells. Sumo, high pull. Hold the way yours. Hey, okay, time for snatch. Gail's playing with Mowgli. <laughs> Snatch time. Let's stop, Mo. Okay, deadlift. <laughs> About your foot. You don't have to shrug if you don't want.
10 seconds. Next up, front squats. Oh, Lordy. Absolutely. Arm to the side. Dumbbells. Bend over rows. You'll start to feel this in your lower back. Just holding this position. Tightens your lower back. That was a pull movement. Now we're going to do more of a push, trying to alternate how we use the muscles. So squat press thrusters. Seconds. Right, put the dumbbells to the side. Side blank. Put whatever side you want. Once again, you have options here. Fifteen seconds. Getting tough to hold ten. Haven't done these in a while. Uh, suffering. I do more of them, I guess. Woo. Woo. Other side. Ugly. <laughs> Chewing up something else now. Up cap to the long door. Like I said, almost 10 going on three.
That's it. Okay, one more move. Herpes. What you got? What you got there? I don't like burpees, but they're very good for you. Okay, here's that move I was talking about. Get my butt to you so you can see. Mountain climber, break dance. One, two, three, four. Each side. One, two, three, four. Shoot through. That was at least more explainable. All right, two more moves. Reverse crunch. Nothing touches the ground. Put your hands there under your butt. Put them off the ground. Relax your head. Take a nap. Focus on your lower abs and hip flexors. Put your legs as straight as they can when you go back out. One dumbbell. You don't need a dumbbell, just have something you can move back and forth. down. One more round to go. So once we get going, we'll have 16 minutes of work and we'll be done. Uh, and yes, this third round is going to be tough. So you'll probably see me stopping more so than you just did. And you may want to stop more often. Uh, uh, at least right now. 
now. It's not terribly hot out here, but the sun's not out. It's not terribly humid compared to what's been recently. But just so you know, we have Bryn to thank for most of these moves. She was the one person that requested make moves. Uh, so I believe there were six of them she requested. So blame her, not me. Hope next time you see her. If you really want to know, I'll show, show you who she is at some point in time. All right, here we go. Third round, inverted rows. Yes, I'm just babbling. Side hops. I'm coming. I'm coming. We're going to take two breaks. Some move up more than others. Bunch of jumps. These really get your glutes fired up. There's something back in my, in my foot. Five seconds. Hey, dumbbells. Push up T. I normally don't use this heavy a dumbbell for this move, but that's all I got. Dumbbells to the side. First quarter's over. Second quarter. Sumo, high pull. Next four gonna be challenging.
Keep trying to move the screen so you can see my whole body, but I guess it's a good thing I'm short. Not even quite so far away. Ten seconds. So. <sighs> Snatch time. Do not lose form. You do stop. Really hurt yourself, especially on this move. You use improper form. Bar close to your face, up and down. Or hop, less strength. Uh, Shoulders are feeling it. Ten seconds. Deadlift. Two more moves with barbell. Looks like my shirt's changing color. I may have a heart, but believe it or not, where that pale part is, is actually where my heart is. My heart is on the opposite side. Yes, that is true. I have a system. <laughs> yeah. Our squats. I have a condition, not really a condition anatomy called situs inversus. All of my organs are reversed. Front squat. I'm special. So when you see me hold my hand over my heart, over my right chest and the left, I'm not being sarcastic. That's where my heart is. Offset to the right as opposed to offset to the left. My appendix is on my left and not my right. Thought about getting a tattoo on my chest that says push here in case the CPR needed. Okay. Half time. Eight more minutes, eight more moves. Dumbbells, then over rope. Looks like someone opened the hose on me. Turned the hose on me. Ten seconds. Rusters. I don't know why I came down before.
Ooh. Like I said, I usually don't use this much weight on dumbbells. I normally use 15s. But Okay. Dumbbells down to this side planks. Right and left. Like this. Into next five moves are strictly body weight. These are gonna be hard. Don't sound like it, seem like it, but they will. So getting back to my condition, when I was 16, I had to have a chest x-ray to work in a restaurant. Went to the health department, had the x-ray. They called me, wanted me to come back for another one. I didn't explain why. So when I did, they took the x-ray again. Sure enough, my heart was on the opposite side. Then, I graduated from college and got hired to teach and have a complete physical. My doctor wanted to know about the rest of me. So I had that drink, side plank. Then had a full upper body x-ray. Sure enough, all of my organs are reversed. It's called situs inversus. It says something like one of every 500,000 people or something like that are born with it. Absolutely no issues, no side effects, no nothing with this. Although I would imagine if I go need an organ transplant, that might be a little difficult. Let's hope not. Interesting, huh? Like I said, I thought about getting a heart shaped tattoo and push here. Okay, we are in the fourth corner. We have four more minutes, four more moves. Kicked off with burpees. Now you have my full medical background. I know of two other people on the venue, as a matter of fact, that have the same thing. I won't mention any names, but they're both females. None of them are family related. Okay. Everybody's new favorite one, mountain climber break dance. I'll have my back to you again. Coming. Ten seconds. Okay. Two minute warning. The first crunch. Ooh. And yes, I was born with that condition. I explained how it happened, but 
not going to do that here. It's too complicated. This is it. Do one dumbbell. Last move. Fifteen seconds. Done. Ooh. Nice work. Ooh. Okay. Wowzers. Uh, okay. Let me catch my breath for a second. We'll finish up. Conclude. Once again, thank you, Bryn, for making some suggestions for these exercises. Although you are one sick puppy, it worked out very nicely. Uh, so. With that in mind, if you're watching this, and if you want to make some suggestions, recommendations for exercises, or type of workout that you would like to see uh, on this, on me perform, you can email me. My email address is simple. My last name, Herman, H-E-R-M-A-N-M-B, as in Herman, Martha's Vineyard, Herman, M-B at comcast.net. Just email me uh, your thoughts, your desires, your exercise, and I'll see if I can accommodate you for future references, for future videos. Okay, so thank you for joining Boot Camp. Until next time, stay safe. Bye. Uh, I gotta figure out how to close this. There we go.